Daddy? No, I don't think you need any help. I think you've already got here. Oh. That's the earth where we live. Big planet Earth. And lots and lots of people on it. Just like me and you. And that's where everybody lives. And a long time ago, in a year, special year called 1969, there was a man and his name was Neil Armstrong and he walked on the moon. And when he walked on the moon, he said, it was one small step for a man and it was a giant leap for mankind. And that was nearly 40 years ago. sky at night time you can see the moon because because the moon is not far away no it's not because it, it's very small really although this looks like a very very big place it's tiny really and that's the moon and it might look like a big place but when you put it alongside the earth, you see it's not very much bigger, if, if it is bigger than America. And that's Mercury, that's the planet that's nearest to the sun. And it doesn't look very much bigger than the moon really, does it? And that's Venus, and it's almost the same size. But we don't see Venus like that, because Venus is shrouded in clouds. Now that's Mars, now a lot of people think Mars is a lot bigger than that, but it's not, compared to the Earth. And that's Jupiter, now Jupiter's a gas giant, and the gas planets are further out. And as you can see, on the right hand side, just below Jupiter's equator is the giant storm. Um, and Earth is probably slightly smaller and then we see Saturn and Saturn's quite a bit smaller than Jupiter but still a lot bigger than the Earth and you see its rings there and this is Enceladus one of Saturn's moon a very important place actually because it's believed to have an atmosphere although it's a very cold place and its atmosphere is actually believed to be water vapour or at least at the pole then further out there's the colder planets like Uranus and Neptune and just like Jupiter Neptune has a giant storm you can see it there in the centre and Pluto which some people would say isn't a planet anyway and it's really moon size rather than planet size but sometimes Neptune is further away from the Sun than Pluto is in reality Isabel's probably a little bit too small yet to understand about the planets and the stars and space but have you ever watched something on television that's made you feel as if you don't understand a word they're saying and sometimes it's great for someone to explain things to you in a simple way as well as the planets there's the stars and when we start going on to stars things get 
a lot more bigger. That's not proper English, is it? And the planet's in size order, and the Earth is underneath the dark blue Neptune. You see there, Earth at the bottom left, Jupiter and Saturn, the two largest planets, and the Sun, obviously the largest body in our solar system. And against the size of the Earth, you can see there's a solar flare, and that solar flare is probably a hell of a lot larger than our planet. We virtually disappeared when we put ourselves against the sun with the other planets. You see an arrow there pointing towards it, and the sun there against some larger star. Arcturus on the right dwarfing the sun. And the same with Antares. And you know, we haven't even got started. There are suns massively bigger than Antares. Mm -hmm.